Hello everyone, welcome back to Krishi's Excel Anywhere. There are two options to simplify Excel words. The one is by automating task by using VBA, the another one by using shortcuts. Today we will see the most important shortcuts very widely used in day to day work. Let's get started with today's session. First, I'll show you how to close the multiple Excel files at a time. Let me create a new files here. Now I have created eight workbooks. Now I want to close all these files at a time by using shortcut. There is a first option to close one by one. You can use Ctrl W to close one by one. However, if you want to close all Excel files at a time, you can use the shortcut by holding shift key, use mouse click on this hint symbol to close all files. All open workbooks closed at a time. Let me open Excel file again. Now I have reopened that file again. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can use two options. One is by holding control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out the sheet. This is how just by holding control, use the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. The another option you can use Alt VZ. So this will pops up with zoom window. You can as per your requirement, you can select or you can update the percentage 200% click on OK. The spreadsheet larger by zooming. Now we'll see how to add second line in the same cell. Now we have updated here pencil in the next in the same cell. We need to add one more line and name it as pen. By pressing Alt Enter, this will give you option to add one more line within cell. Now I will update here as pen. Enter. So now we have two items within the cell in two lines. So by using the Alt Enter, you can add the second line. Next we'll see auto column fit. Sometimes if you observe, fonts or words or sentence may not be perfectly visible at the time. We have two options either you can double click on this line or by using control space bar you can select the particular column press alt o c a so this will help to column fit now let me add value here let me put a formula unit and unit cost so now we got the formula here now need to copy from the cell above control apostrophe so this helps to just copy formula from the cell above and the cell reference will remain unchanged how to copy value from the cell above not formula you should copy only the value in that case you can use you can use control shift double quotation now if you see this is only value not a formula next we will see the very important one how to enter a current time and date in a cell you should not type the current date and time now by pressing the shortcut, we will get the current date and time. First, let's get the date by using, if you press colon by holding control key, press control colon, you will get the date. The same thing, if you want to update for the below cell, just select the cells, select the cells, control colon and control enter. So now we updated the current date for all the transactions. Now let's add the current time. Just press control shift colon. Similarly, just select all the cells and enter. Now press only control enter got the values in all other cells. This is a very helpful function and very often asked question in interview. Now we'll see. So wherever I have value, the total value above 150, I need to highlight the color with green. Selected the cell 189. I'm changing the color this one to green. Below value also crash the gold i need to highlight with the green color just press f4 repeat the last edit it is working again i'm selecting this 149 press f4 so this will repeat your lost actions or edit now we'll see the another one all ajit names should replace with sarath you should not do it manually i will show you the easiest way just press ctrl h find and replace you'll get this replace window find what here i'm going to type ajit and replace with hall sarath so wherever i find ajit it should be replaced with sarath replace hall okay close now you can see that 
all replaced now we don't have any ajitya so this is how the find and replace works now i'll show you how to create a table we have two options one is insert and click on the table but the shortcut is just simply press control t this helps to create it instantly just click on ok now the table has been created one more shortcut control l by pressing control l also you can create a table let me create a new workbook by pressing Ctrl N. Now I have book 3 and I have Krish's Excel. I have two different workbooks. Now how to shift between the workbooks? There are two options. By using Ctrl tab you can, you can jump to the next Excel file. Ctrl tab. Now I, I jump to book 3. Again, again I will press Ctrl tab. I got Krish's Excel workbook. So this is how you can shift between the workbooks. And the last one which is very widely used there is a record in your file but you need to add a command in that case select a particular cell where you want to add the command right click and new note this is one option there is a shortcut for this you can use simply shift f2 this instantly inserts a note now here you can write in notes as per your requirement we have already covered a selection excel shortcuts if you haven't watched it, I have given the link in the description. Please go ahead and watch it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more videos. Thank you for watching.